Welcome back to the Bergen Bad Show. Welcome back, fans, squads. Today we have something very special. You want to know what is truly bay? Cellular respiration. So, ladies and gentlemen, today we have a very special guest. Today we have Dustin Traveler uh, promoting his new film, uh, Glycolysis, where he is playing the lead role, Lucas. Yes, that's, so, that's correct. How are you doing today? Thank you. I'm having a great day. Thank you for inviting me on the show. Oh, ah, no worries, man. All right, so um, here we have kind of like a basic plot kind of outline that we have written out here. Yes. Um, so I see here we have the main character. Glucose. Uh, Glucose. What, can you, what kind of character is Glucose? He's, uh, he's a steady going guy, you know, financially stable, just your everyday kind of bro. Okay, okay. so and then I see here he has an encounter with oh. two ATP. Yes. Adenosine triphosphate. Yes, they, those two come by and they take glucose behind the bat, and they just hammer them. They beat them up. It's violent. Okay. Okay. And I see that they that they kind of lose a, a phosphorus here, and they kind of move on their way. Mm -hmm. And then you become unstable here. Yes. So how did, how running through kind of what your what your character's kind of feeling? Well, after the attack, glucose isn't the same. He uh, he's mentally unstable, if you will. He just He's, a, he's just not the same. Like, it's almost like he's divided in two. I see that. That's it's pretty interesting. So it's a, it's a psychological... It's, it's definitely a psychological okay. thriller. Yes. Okay, so I see here we kind of have the split up into two. The kind of, would you say two personalities? Like he's got the, yeah, I would say that. Two person. Okay, so he has... The one here, he makes, the, he makes an encounter with uh, some ADP here. That's mm -hmm. similar to the... Once you encounter here, but not not the same. Not people. the same one. Um, they come from uh, the body, and you know, uh, they get converted into ATP. He gives gives to them. I do. Um, so is he a, a giving? He's a giving. Yeah. G giving. Okay. And then you also meet NAD plus, where you also uh, where it undergoes a reduction reaction mm -hmm. and becomes NADH. So um, can you tell me a little about NAD, NAD plus? The, uh, and a uh, supporting actor. Oh yes. Um, well, we got we got George Clooney on board. He plays NAD plus, and uh, yeah, he's he's an old friend, and he he plays a very pivotal role. Not so much in this one. He comes back later in the series, and that's when he really has his turning point. Okay. Okay. And then I, I see here the kind of the other aspect. Uh, the same ADP that attacked uh, Glucose earlier comes back and meets up meets up again. Yes. With him, and then it's. It's it goes a little differently this time. ATP is kind of more uh, forgiving, giving back scenario where it then goes back to kind of the kind of the beginning, and it's it's a cycle. Yes. And then you again meet up with uh, George Clooney's twin. Is it his twin? It is his twin. Uh, George Clooney's on board, and he plays the other NAD plus. NAD plus. Okay, and that also goes under under reduction Very, reaction, lots of NADH, reduction, yes. which then goes on to oxidative phosphorylation, which I hear rumors that this is the third sweet, sir, third sweet sequel, which is also sweet. Sweet. <laughs> sweet. <laughs> uh, sure. Um, yes. which is also under development. Yes, it's under development right now. I am not so you can't really share much. About I, the I am not allowed to give much information away about that. One. Well, lucky enough for us, uh, we do have the lead actor uh, another oxidative phosphorylation coming on just a little bit later. If you just want to stay tuned, um, and then here you become pyruvic, which you are pyruvic, still yes. not the same. You know, not six carbons, but you're still kind of fractured into three, but you're stable. Mm -hmm. You're a little, you're a little better. Mm -hmm. I am definitely better at the end of the film being okay. pyruvate. Pyruvate, and then I see that um, the kind of two aspects of yourself kind of move on to the Krebs cycle, the Krebs cycle, which is the sequel that is in development. Yes, uh, it's uh, it's a bit of a cliffhanger. cliffhanger. Like we start going into the Krebs cycle, but that's that's number two. So get ready, coming to theaters pretty soon here. All right, so uh, that seems about it. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for commercials, but we will be right back. I don't always come back from the break, but when I do, it's to the Bergen Vet Show. Anyway, we're here to, I think it's, yes. We're introducing our second guest, Bustin Travelers. 
right, so as uh, my co-host just said, we have Boston Traveler here, uh, promoting the sequel to the film uh, where we had Dustin Traveler, your your brother. Yes. Um, where he was, in fact, leading. Now, you have the lead. Um, so here we have the sequel, which clear the, again, the kind of basic plot here, where here we have you as Pirate Bait. Yes. Where you know, you're, 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 you're going through, and we have Austin here, it takes a carbon from you. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Just takes it from you. Yes, and yeah. Leaves off right to the atmosphere. And then again, uh, and a D plus comes and it takes from you again. So tell me a little bit how your character probably made this feeling and this one after being uh, 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 taken from it. Yeah, so my character Pyruvate, uh, he was feeling very full uh, and like uh, together, you know, as much as he could uh, after he was split. Um, and uh, uh, oxygen and the NAD taking that stuff away from him just you know strengthened him, made him. Uh, know that he's a better person inside, you know? You know? Okay, so we kind of kind of moved on. And then I see here you meet with the uh, Ensign. Is this a bit of a love interest for. Uh, sort for of, the, yes. Uh, and he uh, helps me get across the uh, border. And, uh, the border here, the border of the uh, internal membrane? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, uh, you know, she, we don't really see her uh, again after that, but uh, she is still helping others get through the border. So I think, you know, it's like a. Uh, he got an influence from that. All right. So then, uh, here again, after being taken from you, are now just kind of you know two carbons, lone wolf, kind yes, of yes, yes. going through here. And as you you know as you uh, go through kind of the long journey, um, the carbons kind of kind of kind of weighing you down. So you give off the uh, the carbons here to some oxygens, kind of, and they kind of you know, they yeah, they yeah. run off. So it's uh, get rid of the carbons, kind of. The weight off your back, kind of. Thing. It's like a, a pass it forward type thing. After uh, COA came in and helped me, I was like, why not help some of too? You know, not all of them are bad. Not all of them take from you. you know, type okay. thing. Yeah, yeah, kind of like a, like a racial statement. I see. Uh -huh. And then I see here again is uh, you having the NAD plus again taking from you, and this time a lot more than from the beginning. Uh, there's three here, and now they take the three. Electrons from you, and then they run off to uh, oxidative phosphorylation. Mm -hmm. Now, is this kind of the character? Is, did did they take it from you, or did you give it to them? Uh, this part, it's like the NAD plus is the antagonist. Uh, he took that away from me, you know, and uh, I couldn't really do anything because there's uh, three of them. There's a lot more of them, and they took a lot more than I could uh, possibly have given them at that time. Story, so yeah, I think it was a. Okay, okay, and then I see here it continues um, where you end up meeting with the, an ADP, uh, which undergoes a uh, phosphorylation reaction and becomes ATP. Is this kind of like a statement on forgiveness? Yes. Um, kind of uh, calling back to the first movie in the series mm -hmm. where um, ATP kind of was the one that kind of maybe caused the problems, but now you're kind of getting over that? Well, well yeah, um, as a see like uh, giving uh, ATP and energizing him really uh, shows that the character can and will be forgiving at the most, at most time you know he's not a bad guy he's just trying to make his way through the cycle okay and then I see at the end uh, your character uh, joins up with uh, two FAD mm -hmm. uh, two plus and they uh, go on again to the oxidative phosphorylation where we had the and at 3 and ADH so um, FAD two plus. Uh, can you say a little about this uh, kind of supporting character? Uh, well, yeah, they're uh, they're gonna start the uh, third uh, sort of uh, movie, but uh, they won't be there much. But they're sort of uh, helping the cliffhanger be more. Okay, better. so kind of cliffhanger ending. Want to get generate yeah, some uh, yeah. some attention for the uh, mm -hmm. third mm -hmm. installment. Um, yeah, yeah. So you, you know you, you go to oxidative phosphorylation like the any. Do you think there could be some conflict there, or oh, is it too early to tell? This is going to be like a big brother type thing where everyone's fighting with each other inside the oxidation uh, phosphorylation, you know? Okay, okay. So, uh, looks pretty good here. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we're just going to be right back after our commercial break where we will uh, where we will meet up and kind of see what happens in the third installment with our next lead actor.
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, here we have our uh, our almost final guest this evening. We have the director of the third installment, uh, which is oxidative oxidative phosphorylation, uh, Gustav Journey. Uh, so, if you want to come on in. What? I said Gustav Journey. It's Gustav Journey. My apologies. So, uh, and actually, it's a spin-off. It's not the third installment. Uh, uh, my apologies here. Um, so the story here, we have the basic plot point that you've provided for us. All right. So, um, quick run through here. So we here we have NADH was kind of um, a character, a beloved character from the uh, second installment. Unfortunately, we killed him. Ah. What can you do? Then we have FADH2, which is also another beloved character. Mm -hmm. yeah, so those are those directors. So, um, you, you kill FADH2? Unfortunately, uh, yes. He becomes FAD. FAD2 plus. squared. FAD2 plus, alright. So, a um, bit of a controversial, controversial decision uh, doing that killing mm -hmm. some beloved characters. How, how did you come to that, con that decision to uh, kill off? Some beloved characters. Well, I wanted to make the movie my own. So what we did was we kind of just breezed over the past past points, and we focused more on our lovely hydrosols. And this this we be played by by Benedict Cumberbatch. And what we are doing is we are we are focusing on the the bringing of of Benedict Cumberbatch into. A complicated and dynamic love relationship between Kate Blanchett and Johnny Depp. Yes, you see, and what he does is being friends with both of them. And another friend, ATP Simface, will be played by. Um, oh goodness, I can never. Orlando oh, Bloom, that's it. Okay, okay so I just want to stop you right there. We're getting a little bit ahead of ourselves here. Um, so the beginning here uh, with the uh, a DH and you know they give off their electrons. Yes. Kind of like the final kind of kind of last kind of the last thing. Then they die and die out after that. But these mm -hmm. kind of continue on, um, going through powering. You see, you see, Benedict was friends with them. Oh, Benedict was the actor. Benedict was friends in the movies with them, but he branches off and does his own. Okay. Yes. Okay. So they kind of they they go through and they power the active transport of these hydrogens here, kind of yes. you know, going going through, kind of setting up, mm -hmm. foreshadowing the later kind of events of the film. Exactly. And then you know, goes down, and then they leave here where they uh, meet up with uh, two more uh, of these uh, electrons. They yes. meet up with two hydrogens and then an oxygen. What eventually becomes water. Is this kind of symbolic of a new life kind of creating something? Well, that's exactly it. Did you see that the two characters, they were old and outdated, I thought. So I killed them all. Okay. So we could spling them. It's like if you want to replant a forest of pine trees, you burn it first. Okay, okay. To create new life. I see, I see. So it's kind of like a, like a story kind of symbolic, like a rebirth. Yes. Yeah, okay. So, you know, it meets up with the Oxygen's, uh, the final electron receptor is, I believe, a term that you used yes, uh, in, just in an interview? Okay. Precisely. Um, and that just kind of goes off to, you know, have, like a, have a new story, kind of begin a new, uh, yeah. somewhere else. And then, as you said, it kind of goes through with he you. He on his journey. And through that, he unites our lovely identity. Try for sweet. In the product by uniting identity diphosphate and alphosphate, creating identity triphosphate. Right, and so this here it creates a whole bunch, a whole bunch of kind of new relationships, kind of new yeah. beginnings for a whole lot of people. Uh, in fact, I heard there's about thirty-two to thirty-four new kind of pairings here that will then. Yeah, so that's exactly. It. That's and that's 
So could I kind of symbolize kind of the impact of of something kind of small as an electron moving over and just creating so much new relationships, new life, and kind of new action and energy? Well, again, I don't think I could have put it any fresher than you just did. Right, so gorgeous. looks like we are good here. So ladies and gentlemen, that is the director of the uh, and stay, spin -off. stay tuned for my spin-off on my spin-off called Muscles, where we take our lovely pen and dip bombs in an untragic love story between myosin and identity triforcement. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for having me. Thank you very much. Thank you. 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 We'll be right back with a scientist who will speak to the uh, accurate nature of these stories. So welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Here we have the uh, fourth and final guest of this evening. We have someone who worked uh, closely with the directors of these three films. A uh, you know, scientist, kind of science-minded individual who uh, made sure that these were accurate to um, real life because they're actually based on a real story here. So if you want to just... I thank you, Mr. Rich. So, uh, yes, I am the scientist guy. I did my research. Uh, so we'll start with the glycolysis. The glycolysis system, of course. Um, now, it plays a very integral part in the movie, and that, I think, is for the reason that it's like us. It's like humans. It, uh, it has a goal in mind, and that goal is pyruvate, ATP, and NADH. And, you know, this goal is integral to the plot of the film. Uh, and like all goals, you need a way to get there. So the reactants for the glycolysis system is glucose, ATP, ADP, oh, watch my tongue there, <laughs> um, and NAD+. Plus. And then also there's some yeah. and then ATP at the, at the beginning there. Oh, yeah. Which, of course, yeah. we can't forget about I mean, that goes without saying. Obviously, of course. Yeah. And can you tell me just kind of where in the... Um, that cell is actually this one happens in the cytoplasm, actually, which I think is a really cool thing. Interesting. So it actually comes conception not in the mitochondria. Not in the mitochondria. And that would be a big no-no. That would be a <laughs> real big mistake <laughs> to put that in your biological project. So, no. uh, <laughs> uh... The Krebs cycles. Did you want to... Yes, yes, the Krebs. Um, this, one here? this one's also very important to the film. Uh, I think the science behind it is just riveting. This, Okay, not a lot of people know this, but the actual Krebs cycle, there's two of them. Two of them happen, but our movie only shows one. I, tr I tried throwing that in there, but the director did that, you know, uh, Hollywood. Yeah, rewrites. So this rewrites, is rewrites. Because there's two pyruvates at the end here, so right, right. You know, we have one pyruvate here, so that must go So they must, there's yeah. two. And that would mean that the, the products here, they'd be doubled? Yes, yeah. The products are doubled, so whenever I say it's times two, you know? Just like math, uh, when you time something by two. Okay, uh, so the Krebs cycle, it, has, it also has reactants. This time it has four. Four. So, the Krebs cycle has actually five. Oh, oh. I almost forgot. Curveball. I'm throwing some curveballs here today. So, uh, the Krebs cycle has pyruvate. Um, it has oxygen. It has... NAD plus, and it has FAD2 plus, and like I said, this is all times two, plus it has the ADP. The ADP is also part of that. Um, and it also has some goals in mind, which are, you know, that's really the thing that's interesting about this film, just multiple goals that are all working towards one big goal, that's the same goal. Okay. Yeah. So the goals of the Krebs system are uh, the NADH, uh, the FADH, and the a uh, ADP. A ATP. ATP. Uh, yeah. So, uh, do you want to tell me about the uh, waste products in the Krebs cycle here? Of course, of course. It's pretty simple. It's just CO2, you know? So carbon, uh, carbon dioxide, pretty simple. Simple, and this is where we get the CO2 when we breathe out? Yeah, exactly. See, so then, the math science. Alright, and then we're going to move on to the final step here. Oxidative phosphorylation. Yeah, uh, yeah. Just down here. So, why don't you run me through? Uh, what would the reactants be for? The reactants for that would be the NADH, the FADH2, again, 
and uh, oxygen. And the goal of this system is it's to get more ATP. Would you agree with that statement? Yes. 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 Okay. Goal. And um, yeah. And this system, uh, like uh, like this one, also has some waste products it must dispel. And that waste product would be H two O or water. So, uh, so uh, water, while important to us, to the plants, or not they, the plants, sorry, uh, to breathing the water, when we breathe it out, we don't need that. No, uh, we're not the fish. We don't need water. We do need water, but not in this. Not, not here. We, we, so uh, we breathe out the water. It's not useful. It's just there, so uh, the electrons can have a place to go and can be expelled safely. From yes. The yes. Body here. You know, I feel like I've done a lot of talking here. Would you like to explain to the viewers at home, as a fellow man of science, uh, where these two uh, cycles take place? Sure, for sure. Um, so here, uh, this one actually takes place kind of within the, uh, 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 the uh, inner membrane space, kind of between the outer inner membrane, membrane. Inner membrane, and Not it crosses, the outer. Inner. then it crosses over the uh, inner membrane here, uh, which is acetylcholine, it helps it go through, and then here, this, this actually takes place uh, within the inner membrane itself. So this is kind of like a close up yeah. uh, shot. Like a zoomed in shot. Like inner that's membrane. what's happening on the inside. On the inside? Yeah. So uh, I just want to tell me uh, what kind of organisms undergo cellular respiration? Well, I think you know that, but just to be safe here, I'll, let, I'll do the talking here. So this would be the plants. And the animals. And the animals. <laughs> and every <laughs> organism that exists, but of course, well, we're, plants, wrong, we're wrong in saying plants. The plants, plants and the animals and all the other organisms. Okay. Like in Hoza. Alright? Alright. But with uh, plants. Where would this occur within the body itself? Kind of what type of cells? Uh, <laughs> now it just feels like you're quizzing me here. <laughs> well, um, you know me, I like to like you, to joke. You like those grills, alright, alright. Um, now, uh, can you repeat the question? Oh, where in the body uh, would this uh, bi biochemical pathway occur? I'm going to say it's cells. Cells. Actually, accurate. Um, it is every single cell in the body, except for the dead ones, such as hair, uh, eyelashes, eyebrows, anything like that. Yeah. Um, but also, you mentioned that in the muscle cells, um, you would actually find more of this happening, more mitochondria, um, especially in the heart, because that one is constantly very active. That's better myself. Alright. Spin an honor. Spin real.